So one of my best friends is a lesbian, and I've looked at her relationship over the years, and it always seems just so like peaceful and easy. And sometimes I get kind of jealous of that, because I'm like, God, that just seems like really nice. Uh, but then I think about the part of a lesbian relationship that requires you sticking your mouth and nose in a vagina, and I'm like, well, nope, not jealous anymore. Like, oh. When I picture doing that, I react the same way a cat does when you put water on its face. I'm like, pff, 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 pff. Like, that does not appeal to me at all, but God bless you men and lesbians who go serve down in the trenches, okay? Like, I salute you, yeah. Give it up for those troops. They don't get enough love. <laughs> we appreciate it. Because uh, it can't always be fun for your faces down there. Like, I'm sure that most of the time, it's great and fine and fun, but I bet every man in here has had at least one experience where you've gone down there, breathed in, and thought, wow, I wish I was literally anywhere else in the world right now. <laughs> Iraq, like, <laughs> I'll go to war. Somebody's gotta do this. <sighs> I can't. <laughs> and trust me, we've been on the other end of it with you dudes, because most of you guys aren't exactly a bath and body works store <laughs> down here. We've never pulled your pants down and gone, oh, country apple. <laughs> oh my God. No. We're always like, oh, Jesus, are you hiding a bologna sandwich in here? Like, what is... It's like a middle school locker. I can clean this out. <laughs> but like, even at their best, genitals are not considered a good aroma, right? Like, you're never gonna see a car air freshener tree in midnight labia. No. Can you imagine getting into a friend's car and that tree's hanging up? You would get in and be like, oh my God. Have you been doing hot yoga in here? Like, this happened. I think the best that this can smell on anybody is acceptable, right? Like, just make it an acceptable work environment. Because that's the first thing that we all think when we go to service somebody down there. You think, can I work in these conditions?